shoulders are feeling kind of tense. It'd be nice to go to a hot spring. A hot spring sounds nice. Coffee milk tastes a hundred times better when you first get out of the bath, too. I used to go to the public baths a lot back before I was homeless. I loved drinking milk right when I got out of the bath, just like Ichiban. I'd knock them back like nobody's business. Yeah, knock them back all you want, as long as they stay knocked back. You think I'd puke it up? No way. I can keep anything down. I don't know about that. いらっしゃいませ Who's hungry? Me! Mm. Oh, mm. Tasty. Thank you very much. Thank you. Children.
This isn't break time. On to the next bathroom. You're even slower than yesterday. I'm going. I'm sorry. Are you okay? Hey, watch where you're going, janitor. Hello, Director. The woman's father. His name's Tatsuro Mokoda, correct? Understood. I'll carry it out immediately. Yes. Don't worry. Yes, he's out like a light. General anesthesia. Here we go. You know. Most people hope and pray that they'll die in their sleep. You're one of the lucky ones who actually gets to do it. Stop! Who are you? How did you get in here? Kura. This is Naraha's dad for sure. Sir, wake up. Let's get you out of here. Damn. I didn't waste any time. What are you doing here? Contractors aren't allowed. Explain yourselves now. Hey, calm down. Can't you recognize your own uniform? Give me a break. You're not one of us. No, we aren't. Because you're not nursing home guards. Not with that kind of weaponry. I bet you got a lot of ink underneath those uniforms. Since you're from the Seiryu clan. Hmm. Huh. So, you did your homework. We know everything, man. Even what the Seiryu clan has been doing in this room. Well, good. That makes our decision easy. We'll have to kill you and the patient! Not a loser! I'm fine. Get alive, you're weak. Check this out! Don't get caught. Yeah. You're in it now. I'm up! Grab her dad and get the hell out of here. Hey, 
What was that drug you were about to inject him with? It was potassium chloride. Holy fucking shit. Do you know what it does? They use it overseas for executions. The doctor was trying to kill her dad? Now that must have been how they killed the old woman. We got to him just in time. Guys, we ain't out of the woods yet. That's the guy from the cafe. Who is he? We're about to have our chance to ask him. He's coming this way. You all just made the biggest mistake of your lives. I hope you know that. Who are you? The director of this facility. And don't play dumb. I know what else you know about me. You mean how you're with the Seiryu clan? Yes. I'm Totsuka, from the Ryuto family. The Seiryu clan held its own against the Omi takeover. That made me think you guys must be pretty hardcore. And yet here you are, murdering old people for money. Where's the Yakuza's honor in you? The Seiryu clan is doing what must be done, for the good of society. You have no idea what burden we've taken on. Killing our elders for society's good? Go fuck yourself! You better let all the residents here go free right now, or I'll tell the whole world what you're really doing here! You're welcome to try, but that would require you to walk out of here alive. And killing you is no inconvenience to me. I've got enough chemicals to melt down all your bodies! You asked for this! Let's bring it on! Okay. You're in it now! Okay, God, fun with this! Yeah. You're weak. Take yourself, boy. Come on, let's go. Let's go! Let's go! Ah! 
Make me say it again. Let all the residents go! I'm afraid I just can't do that. Then we'll do it. We'll move them all out. <laughs> oh, shit. It won't open. I activated the emergency lockdown. That door won't open until this time tomorrow. What? You've lost. So stop fighting me. And maybe, just maybe, I won't call the police. I won't explain to them how our home for nice, well-to-do elderly people is being robbed by three thugs. What kind of Yakuza calls the cops? You're a stain on your family. Call me what you want, but if I call the cops, you're done. I suggest you give up and get out. Maybe instead, I'll rat you out. Oh yeah? Uh, Ichiban? Rat him out to who? The Seiryu chairman. We just need to pay him a visit at their HQ. We'll go tomorrow, bright and early, and get the chairman to fix all of this. Don't you fucking dare! This is my business, not the chairman's! If you breathe a word, I'll kill you! So you're that scared of the chairman, huh? So? So, you're coming with me, you spineless worm. Huh? Yeah, you're gonna take me there yourself. Because if you refuse to come along, I'm gonna tell the big scary chairman everything you did. And maybe, some things you didn't, too. I mean, look at yourself. Doing business like this in the name of the Seiryu clan? As a Yakuza. You accept consequences for your actions. So... does this mean we have to go? Listen. Got it. Thank you. 
Should I open it? Got it! Hey. Okay. see any guards that's because no one is stupid enough to try and raid the serial clan <laughs> you set us up we never grant entry to anyone from other factions that gate drops like a cattle chute if someone walks through without giving the correct signal then, we take our time with the slaughter. Whatever their rank may be in their own herds, we don't give a shit. Where's the chairman? Upper floor somewhere? Perhaps. You'll never reach him. I won't let you get anywhere near his office. Oh, I was really hoping you'd seen the light. Guess we're back to using brute force, boys. I tell you, never a dull day with Ichiban. People better put us in their wills for this. Bring it! Let's do it! Take your best shot! You're weak! Check this out! Yeah! You're in it now! Watch this! Get alive! Going in! I get this! Fight no mercy! Take your back! Right. 
struggling. The enemy well, is defeated. I feel like winning. We're alive. Hell yeah. You won't be leaving here alive. You gotta be kidding me. How are we supposed to get through? Well, standing around won't solve anything. Let's find another way around. Oh, good. Not bad. Oh, good. Pretty good. It was so good. Door's locked. This is a dead end. This should hold it. Good call. Open up, assholes! Now what? We can't hold this forever. Then we need to improvise. Son of a. the damn thing before they get away! Hey! Get your ass over here! They bought it. Yeah, I guess so. Hey. You're good, Namba. Coast is clear. Listen. Hold on.
I've been waiting for you. Gentlemen, get rid of them! Cool! You wanna fight? Fun with this. Take care of the stuff. Mm -hmm. There's a bin there. Let's go. You're weak. Going in. You're in it now. In the game. Let's go get cocky. Let's go. Do that. You want to go in there? Oh, you're just honey. serious. Come on now! Yeah, we're all okay. getting cocky. Let's go! Watch this! Have fun with this! Come up! You wanna fight? Let's go! You're weak. Tell him, put it up. Take your best shot. Call it. Let's go. Don't get this out. I'll make it work. Watch this. Let's go. You want to fight? Go in there. There's a kin there. Watch over there. Cool. You're weak. Come on now. What do I do? You wanna go? Have fun with this. Watch this. Let's go. I'm up. Get serious. Let's go. You're weak. Yeah. Oh yeah. Check this out. I thought I was a goner. No one else is coming? Pretty weak ambush if you ask me. I bet those idiots wanted to hog the credit for taking out the intruders. Oh, is that what it is? Wouldn't it be easier for them if they all ganged up on us? Nobody climbs the corporate ladder in a group. Criminals included. Huh. No wonder I've never been promoted. Ready when you are. Uh, 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 let me take a break. Me. 
Should I open it? Got it. Pretty good. So good. Delicious. Not bad. Pretty good. So good. Pretty good. It works. Very tasty. So good. So nice. Oh, good. My cheeks red.
Come on! I'll pound you into the floor myself! You're gonna damn you! I'm not a loser! Let's skip making the first move and just see how it goes. Hey, cool. I'm fucking pissed. Okay. You're in. Wanna start now. something? You wanna fight me? Hey, I'm fucking pissed. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Come on now. Yeah. Have fun with this. Let's go. Good to go. Let's go. You're in it now. Let's go. You're weak. Don't get cocky. Let's fight. Cool. This. Take your Have fun with this. Come up. Get serious. The Let's enemy see. is defeated. Should I open it? Sweet. Which way are we going? <laughs> Behind us! You're never gonna make it to the chairman! <laughs> Holy shit! Hang on! I'll get you out of this! Hold on 
Come. I got you. Hurry. Just a little more. Adachi san! Oh, fuck! Enjoy your flight! Namba, over here! Adachi! We got him! Now lift! Don't give up! Help me! I'm alive! I've had enough of you rat bastards scurrying around. Time to get exterminated! Do it. Cool. Come 
with this. Should I open it? Got it! I'm okay, I guess.
Yeah. Should I open it? Sweet! Seriously? Should I open it? Got it! Should I open it? Sweet! Again, huh? So this is where we are. Wait, we, we've been here already? Hmm. Doesn't seem too familiar to me. Oh, we were just here a minute ago. You guys have terrible memory. Hey, this place looks safe enough. Why don't we take a breather?
<laughs> yeah. Yeah.
Please. Come on now. Let's go. Going in. I got this. Yeah. Have fun with this. Let's go, son. Yeah. Get serious. Check yeah. this out. I'm up. How'd the likes of you learn to fight like that? Uh, who are you? We're employees from your place of business, Otohime Land. Uh, you're from our own soap land? We were helping Nanoha Mukoda, a woman who works there. You've been sucking money out of her while keeping her dad prisoner in the old folks' home. I told you, we're doing what needs to be done. I've heard all that already, and it's bullshit! You can't just twist the Yakuza code to suit yourself! That's being a fucking prick! Stop this. <laughs> Boss! Totska, what's happening here? <sighs> There was a dispute on our turf, and so... You look like hitmen to me. Are you Yakuza? We're not hitmen. We came with a request for the chairman. A request? About Totska's business operation. Sunlight Castle? Could we have a bit of your time? How can I be sure you won't try to kill me? Frisk us if you want. We're unarmed. Hmm? Uh, what's wrong? This guy had a strange looking bill on him. <sighs> yeah, I've had that for a while. No idea where it came from, though. Someone just put it in my pocket at some point. <sighs> what should we do? Nothing. It's just play money. You sure you don't want to tie a string around it? Hurts like a bitch if you don't. I suppose you would know, wouldn't you? Of course, after you made me lose two of them. Just give me the knife already, Captain. It's natural that society wants to avoid seeing its own underbelly. 
But luckily for those who refuse to look, I've taken many risks to protect them from the Komi Jewel. I've protected them from the Chinese faction as well. Yeah, I don't know everything about it, but I figured it was the Seiryu clan keeping it all balanced. The balance is starting to crumble. It must be said that in any faction, the men operate businesses unknown to the boss. But I'm hearing that some have gone so low as to extort money from the homeless. Yeah, that's the Yokohama Leomon. I got plenty of personal experience with that. I see. And as for Totsuka, I never thought he would keep such a large business secret. Thank you for telling me. I knew of its existence, of course. And I was glad Totsuka was the director. Our clan bought that building 30 years ago. It was crumbling. Some wanted it demolished. Others wanted to make it a historic landmark. I settled the issue. I said it should be turned into a retirement home, run by Totska. I trusted him completely. I never knew he was running another type of business on the top floor. It was still in the exploratory phase. I... I was gonna tell you about it once it became a viable business. It's gross that you're even calling it a business. Chairman, the whole operation is just wrong. You gotta do something. The people there need to be let out. Hmm. Kasuga, was it? Yes, sir. I think you have the wrong idea here. Sorry? I appreciate you telling me about Totska's secret business, but I have no need or desire for your opinion. But he's murdering innocent people. Misfortune is often a side effect of profit. One's happiness might be purchased with another's unhappiness. To a certain extent, that is unavoidable in our line of work. <laughs> Agreed, boss. With that logic, you could justify anything, no matter how dishonorable. Totska, I'd like to hear your own description of what happens on the top floor. The excellent course offers a smooth and painless transition out of this life. It's compassionate euthanasia. Euthanasia? That's bullshit! I saw it happen! You murdered the woman who was in a wheelchair! Euthanasia is a painless release given to those who need it. That woman in the wheelchair left this world peacefully. You should realize, sometimes it's not the patient who wants it, but the family. Oh yeah? What about Nanoha's dad? Perfect example. She wanted us to dispatch her father. Liar! What do you know about it? I met with her myself and she approved it! That can't be true. <laughs> Consider this your lesson about certain realities in this world. Anyway, I'm done playing teacher. <laughs> Totska! <laughs> Sir! Put it down. I don't need your finger. <laughs> Thank you, Chairman. <laughs> but that doesn't mean that I approve of this little side business you were running. Therefore... Takabe! Understood. Boys, take him out of here. What? <laughs> Show him what'll happen if he ever sets foot in here again. <laughs> No, it's... Chairman! Chairman! Kasuga. A Yakuza cannot be judged merely by society's standards of what is right and wrong. 
Our reputation is everything. But we cannot preserve our reputation if we allow civilians like you to trespass. Don't fool yourself into thinking you did something brave today. The truth is, your actions have disgraced me and the Seiryu clan. I want that knowledge to weigh heavy on your heart. As scared as I should be right now, I'm super into it, Chairman. That was awesome. I'm sorry. I was starting to think that during the 18 years I spent in prison, the type of Yakuza I admired went extinct. But you're one of them. You're the old school kind of Yakuza. The kind I've always believed in, and always will. I see. I'm glad such a thing is still appreciated. I must admit, I find myself wondering what kind of Yakuza raised you like that? You're asking about my patriarch? Hmm. He was the type of guy who would show up to rescue a dumbass kid who dropped his name just to get out of trouble. Even a kid he never met. He cut off his own finger for the family name. Hmm. Right. Let's go home. Wait. I'm curious. What was the name of this patriarch? Masumi Arakawa, of the Arakawa family. Ex Tojo clan. Arakawa? Yep. Although, when I went to find him the other day, he did put a bullet in me. <laughs> So, I guess I should probably take the hint. But he can't take away all the lessons I learned from him. To me, he's still the way a man ought to be. Arakawa. I'll remember that. Well, guess we should head back to the Soapland. Huh? Oh, yeah, yeah. Whatever. So, that was a shocker. How Nanoha agreed to the euthanasia. I guess you never know for sure what people really want. <sighs> hey, just a minute, please. Need something, Captain? Come to Sunlight Castle with me. I'm having Nanoha meet us there. What? Why? Just do it. Are you Nanoha Mukoda? Yes. We talked on the phone. I'm Takabe, the general manager. Um, where's Totsuka-san? He had some urgent business and couldn't be here, so I'm filling in. I see. I apologize for how sudden this is, 
but we're closing our institution. You're closing? Yes. As such, we won't be able to continue caring for your father. We're terribly sorry, but you'll have to make other arrangements for him. But the... the operation wasn't that scheduled for today? It's been cancelled. We deeply apologize and ask for your understanding. Cancelled? But if he doesn't get that operation, he'll die! Huh? Hold up. What did you just say? They said... he'll die without the surgery. Uh, just double-checking. But is that what you paid Totska for last time you met? What did you two talk about? Um... At the meeting, we... Somehow I scraped together two million yen. But can I finish paying later? Maybe we don't even have to do the surgery that soon. I'm worried he's still too weak for it. Don't tell me you're having second thoughts now. Your father deserves to be at peace. You said it yourself. Now you're cheaping out on him? No, please don't say that. Of course I want Dad to have peace in his golden years. I don't want him in pain, but does it have to be so expensive? I'm afraid it does. Given the delicate nature of the task, there may be complications. Don't you see the need for finesse? That's what you're paying us for. Oh, okay. It's just my father's never had an operation. Oh. <laughs> First timer, huh? Hey, if we can laugh about it, it must not be that bad, right? Huh? Uh, I guess. So she had no idea. It seems not. She thought the operation was... A life-saving procedure. Damn, and we barely got to him in time. Nanohasa, let me assure you, the operation is no longer necessary. Sorry? Your father was examined again, and doctors concluded the previous diagnosis was incorrect. <gasps> oh, really? Yes, therefore we are returning this payment to you immediately. We realize how inconvenient our closure is to you. So, all money paid towards care after today's date will be refunded. But... what do I do now? When does he have to move out? Please, don't worry. There will be no forced relocations. As I said, we realize how inconvenient this is for you. Your father may stay here free of charge until you make other arrangements. <laughs> Are you serious? Finally, some actual fairness. This was by order of the chairman. I'm glad to hear that. Real glad. So, who was it who said she was in trouble again? Leave it alone. Everybody makes mistakes. <laughs> so much for detectives' hunches. Hey, Adachi's mistake led to her dad's survival, so there. Let's just be grateful for her luck. I'll trust you all to iron out whatever you need to. Yeah, we're good. <laughs> hey, bit of advice. You should put that away. Oh, yes, of course. Now that you've got a fat wad of cash, maybe you can afford to work at a nicer place, you know? Sorry? We were hired to work at Otohime Land while you were out. You were only working there so you could fund your dad's care. Right? Uh, yes. You don't even have to go back. We'll tell the boss you quit if you like. Oh, and we'll get you any back pay you're owed. Really? Oh, that'd be great, actually. No worries. Go on and see your dad. 
I'm sure he's gonna flip when he sees you. Thank you. You know, seeing that smile, I can see why she was their most popular girl. <laughs> Such a ladies' man, aren't you? Okay, let's go report to the boss. this doll? Nelly, probably inspired by Mexico. It is a taco place, after all. I love a good taco. Just thinking about it makes me want to stuff myself. For real? I mean, I'm sure they're good, but aren't they too rich to eat a whole bunch? I get it as, like, an appetizer or something. I, uh, think you might be confusing Mexican tacos with octopus taco. Yeah. Let's go. Don't get cocky. Watch this. You're in it now. Cool. Take your best shot. Get serious. Check this out! Can't uh, lie. I'm up! I got this. You're weak.
らっしゃいませ。Hey, boss. We're back. It got pretty crazy back there. But you know what? Nonomiya really didn't seem the type to kill himself. <sighs> yeah, I hear you on that one. I would have jumped on that place no matter how big a loan I needed. Seriously, it's a gold mine. The guy was sitting on a mountain of cash and he just threw himself off. <sighs> Classy group. Talking this way at a funeral. Money does things to people. They know a soap land can be a ticket to riches. Can't just start one just by submitting some paperwork? Well, it's gotten a lot stricter. A new soap land has to be more than 200 meters from any school, hospital, or library. There's no downtown real estate that meets that criteria. Not a single lot. So, functionally, it's impossible to open a new soap land. What about the old ones that have been around forever? They got grandfathered in. So Nonomiya's death is another precious soap land down the drain. Uh, I mean, it didn't have to be. He could have sold it and made a huge profit just like those guys said. I really don't understand why he did himself in. Me neither. There must have been something terrible going on. Something 
even worse than Nanoha situation. I really think he was more of a sensitive guy than he ever let on. <sighs> Excuse me, sensitive? I don't know about that. Nano Hassan? Is that you? Whoa, look at her. She guess she's feeling a lot better now. No more stress about her dad. And she went shopping. Yeah, she looks great. Pretty sexy. <laughs> Shut up! She's here to pay her respects, you moron. Grow the fuck up! Nano Hassan, you should know that we are the ones who found him. I mean, we were just heading back to the shop, expecting to find him there, but uh, he'd already... he'd already hung himself. Um, yeah, I heard you guys just now saying he was sensitive. Come on, we all know he wasn't the greatest guy. And he was selfish, too. But that's why I think there's no way he killed himself. Damn, Nano Hassan. I know you're still going through a lot, but is this really the time to trash the guy? Don't lecture me like that. You don't even know me. Uh, uh, um, we don't know you. No, you don't. I'm Saeko. So, is Psycho your nickname or something? I don't get it. No, I'm saying that you and I have never met before, okay? Do you get it now, Gramps? G Gramps? Come on, Nanoha. Okay, you obviously don't get it. Maybe Four Eyes over there can figure it out? Four Eyes? No, I can't say I get it at all. Well, the simple answer is they're twins, right? We have a winner. You're smarter than you look back there. Yeah, I'm Nanoha's sister. Uh, seeing as you're uh, Nanoha's twin, do you have the same, you know, job as she does? I'm not for sale, if that's what you're asking. I'm a bartender at a cabaret club that Nonomiya owned, actually. Jeez, he owned a cabaret club and a soap land? Yeah. He may not have looked it, but he was actually one of the top dogs in Eugene Cho's red light district. Now that he's gone, I guess both my club and Orohime Land are probably gonna shut down. Was it just a coincidence that you and your sister both worked in his establishments? Yeah, it was. I mean, it's crazy, but I didn't even know that Nanoha was working at... You know, at his brothel. You didn't know? I had no idea. I only found out a few days ago. I still don't understand. If I'd known she needed money to take care of her dad, I'd have gladly given her some. How could you not know? I mean, you're sisters, aren't you? What, what gives? You might say we had a complicated relationship. See, I left home when I was young, and I never looked back. You just cut your family off? That was how it had to be. But I had no idea my sister was working at Otohime Land. I mean... Nonomiya had to know the two of you were related. I'm sure he did. It's obvious we're twins. And apparently he actually did tell Nanoha that I was working at his cabaret club. But she... She asked him to keep her job a secret from me, no matter what. Well, not a real surprise, seeing as you were estranged. Then a few days ago, Nonomiya called me, sounding really worried. He said my sister and dad were in a tight spot. That they were trapped in some kind of Yakuza scam. That must have been a scary way to find out about the trouble your sister was in. Yeah, it was. Like I said, we haven't talked in years. And now, I'm really worried. I mean, Nonomiya broke his promise to her by telling me she works for him. So Dad and Nanoha must be in really deep trouble. They were, but it's all good now. No need to worry. No need to worry? Wait. Are you the ones who helped my family? That would make you Kasuga-san, Adachi-san, and Nanba-san. I owe you guys so much. You knew our names this whole time? 
You do realize your family's alive because of us? Look, I really am grateful. Thank you. It seems like you haven't talked to Nanoa-san about any of this. No, I haven't. And I feel like... It might be better if I just keep pretending I don't know about it. Hey, I just thought of something important. When Nonomiya told you about your sister, did you say it was by phone? Yeah. Huh. Well, that would be... pretty damn close to the moment he hung himself. Oh. Yeah. I knew that already. Later on, I realized that phone call ended just moments before he died. Whoa. That's what I was trying to tell you before. That phone call is why I know there's no way he committed suicide. So, wait. What exactly did he say to you? You have your employees doing that? Basically, the home your sister put your dad in? It's a ratchet run by the Seiryu clan. They're threatening to kill your father if she doesn't pay them. Wait, are you serious? And did you just say Nanoha is working at your soap land? Why didn't you tell me before? I'm sorry. She asked me not to. I feel like shit for ratting on her even now. But at this point, the secret's kind of out. Okay, just let me think. First of all, are they seriously asking for all that money in one lump sum? I don't have that kind of cash. I guess I could ask around. We don't have time to try and raise money. We just have to put our faith in these new guys I hired. Maybe they'll pull a miracle out of their ass. You know, Psycho? I think they might actually do it. Why do you think that? Who are these guys, anyway? They're like... Uh, well, it's a bum, an ex-Yakuza, and an ex-detective. I know it sounds shady, but they're good guys. Tough, too. They're risking their lives for Nanoha. Is the ex-Yakuza that Kasuga-san you mentioned before? Yeah. He hasn't let me down so far. Huh? Uh, ho hold on, I heard something. Oh, is it a customer? Yeah, probably. Uh, hold on, hon. Hello? Hey, hey, what what are you doing? Whoa! Hey, hold on! Stop! Don't just barge in! Boss? Stop! Stop! Boss? Loma! Loma! Come to tell you! Loma! That was the last time you spoke with him? Yeah. What happened at the end there? I don't know. The voices sounded angry. I think they were speaking Chinese. And this is how you know it wasn't a suicide? Yeah. But if these Chinese guys killed him, why they tried to make it look like a suicide? Huh, I don't want to find out. Let's just tell the police about this. I already did. I got interviewed by a detective who found my number in Nonomiya's call history. I told him everything I just told you. So then why are they still calling it a suicide? I don't know. But I'll tell you a really weird thing. The detective asked about the Chinese words, so I repeated them. Then he just packed up and left. Really? Well, let's hear the Chinese. Sure. I can tell you what I heard, but I don't know what it means. But I do know the words were definitely Laoma, Laoma. Laoma? What's that? I just told you I have no idea. But I do. Really? Laoma is a nickname for one of the bosses in the Yokohama Liomong. One of their bosses? You're sure? Yeah. His real name is Mabuchi. 
That's so weird. Why would they be shouting his nickname like that? <sighs> Maybe it was his guys who busted into Nonomiya's room to attack him. And they might have been calling to Mabuchi because they'd found Nonomiya. And trying to imply Mabuchi's behind the murder? But he was on Seryu clan turf. The Ejing Three don't attack on each other's land. They don't. So if that pact's been broken, anything could happen now. Why did the police ignore what Saeko told them? Maybe the detective didn't know what Lao Ma meant. No. I think it's the opposite. He stopped the investigation because he knew exactly what it meant. You mean he was scared? Uh, not so much scared as loyal. Every detective in Nijin Cho knows who Lao Ma is. He owns them, really. What? He bribed all of them? Uh, he pays for a lot of their important family events. Coming of age parties, weddings, funerals, you name it. Sends money to their kids, too. Oh, yeah, he takes care of them. What the hell? Mm hmm. Mabuchi, with all these detectives on his payroll, has basically bought access to all their personal information. He's got his personal herd of cop cattle. Yep, and milks them whenever he wants. The police are helpless before the Great Wall. And they know it, too. But don't go expecting them to do any real investigations where Mabuchi is involved. Hey, we're forgetting an important question. Why would Mabuchi kill Nonomiya? Yeah, doesn't seem like it was robbery. Look at these. It was rare that Nonomiya broke out the full house bonuses. But he got them for us. He trusted us. Saiko, thanks for telling us what you heard over the phone. I know it'll help. You know, it's really sad. Mm hmm? How I never even realized someone was worrying about me like he was. He worked so hard all those years, only for things to end up like this. <clears throat> I never got along with my dad or my sister. We were always fighting. My mom did the best she could to keep the family together, and it almost worked. <sighs> but after she died, I just wanted out. Thing is, for all his flaws, Nonomiya is the one who gave me a real home, even when he knew I had abandoned my family. But I kept saying he was garbage. I was so mean to him right up until the end. I never thanked him for what he did, not even once. I mean, I never thought he could just be gone all of a sudden, you know? All my life, I felt pretty alone, but I thought at least I was free. Now I'm starting to realize that I was kidding myself, because I wasn't actually alone. And to be honest, I wasn't even that free. <laughs> it feels more like the people around me were suffocating me, even Nonomiya. <sighs> Look, I know you must have felt like he was suffocating you, but... If you ask me, that sounds like every other family I've ever come across. It's so frustrating, because it's like... Nonomiya doesn't deserve my tears. He was a dirty, grass old man. But at the same time, that doesn't mean that... that nobody should care that the police can write him off. I mean, it's their job to do something, but they're acting like it's just another suicide. That's not right. <sighs> I can't do anything. Not by myself. But before Nonomiya died, he told me about how you three were so much to help my sister and my dad. And I just thought... 
<laughs> I'm guessing that's why you came here to find us. <laughs> okay. Okay, my ass. Are you dragging us into another mess? You're finally starting to understand me, Nurse Namba. Well, that's a bad sign. You in, Adachi san? About going up against a guy even the police are scared of? My detective instincts are telling me, hell yeah, let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> so, that settles it. Sachan. Let's do this together. That work for you? From here on out, you don't have to feel alone anymore. <laughs> Welcome to the party. Sup? Yeah. Hey. <laughs> 